Hi, I'm Paula. This is how to make dinner. And today I'm making a baked halloumi sheet pan dinner that is so nice and satisfying and super easy and quick. Let's bake some cheese. I love halloumi and I barely ever eat it because it's kind of expensive here uh, in Canada. It, one of these little packets sets you back about eight to 10 bucks. Um, but I love it so much, so I really wanted to cook with it today. There's a really good sheet pan dinner that I used to make all the time when I lived in a place where halloumi was much less expensive. <laughs> and it's basically just this really simple combination of potatoes, peppers, and halloumi tossed in some yummy things, baked in the oven, and then that's it. That's dinner. Just super simple. So let's make it. I'm gonna start with the halloumi. So I have two packets here. There are three of us in the household tonight. I'm not sure if one of us is gonna like this halloumi dinner, but we're gonna see. Halloumi is a cheese that comes from Cyprus originally, and it's really salty and kind of chewy and a little bit bouncy, I would say. And it doesn't melt with heat. So it kind of stays really intact and it's just really good. It's usually made with sheep milk or a combination of sheep's milk and cow's milk. And I just love it. So I'm gonna cut the halloumi into little, basically like little planks almost. Not quite a cube, not quite a slice. This one in particular looks like it has some kind of herb on the outside, which I'm not sure what that is, but it's the only kind I could find. So I'm gonna cut this up and then just throw it into a bowl. As with everything I roast, I almost always like to toss it in a bowl first. I know it's an extra step and it's an extra dish, but I find it really fun actually to toss things in a bowl. And it really means that you get the oil and all the flavors kind of coating everything properly rather than just tossing it on the sheet pan. So I'm gonna chuck the halloumi into the bowl. And then I'm gonna cut some potatoes. So I have some yellow potatoes here and I kinda of wanna match the shape of the halloumi. So I'm gonna go in half and then into kind of like thick-ish half moon kind of slices. I do think that a waxy potato is best here because they tend to keep their shape a little bit better in the oven rather than like a starchy russet. But if a starchy russet's all you've got, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I want about three or four potatoes per person. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Oops. And then I have these little mini peppers that I bought. You can use any bell peppers here, but these are cute and I need to use them up. So they're going in. And I'm just gonna cut them in half. And then actually a good tip for getting the seeds out of these little ones is just to actually kind of scrape it with a spoon and the whole insides just come out. So I think I'm just gonna leave them in halves. Yeah, that'll do. I want a pretty easy dinner tonight because I've kind of been working away all day. My weekends are very uh, how to make dinner centered because I have a day job. And so I actually wrote a blog article to go along with the salad bar episode and I accidentally made it 2000 words. <laughs> I just kept writing and writing, like get me going about salad bars and you can't shut me up. So it's a really long one. And then I took some photos to go along with that one too. I'm like ready to just have a super easy dinner and watch a movie. We're gonna watch Hotel Transylvania. These peppers are a little bit annoying. I, I don't know, really know why I buy them. I think just cause they're cute, but normal peppers are also fine. <laughs> I do like the peppers in this, especially in the winter because it kind of gives off like a, you know, Mediterranean-ish energy, I guess. And that's really nice in the winter because 
I, it reminds me of being in Europe. <laughs> Anything that reminds you of Europe in the summer is a good thing in my books. Okay, so we've got these peppers. I think they're pretty much fine. I might cut a couple of them in half because they're kind of big. Just go with the flow on the cutting. Yeah, that's fine. The last veg component I'm gonna add to this is about half of a red onion. It's great for color, it's great for flavor. And I'm gonna go like, Little, little kind of chunky strips. Okay. I'm gonna season this up a little bit. So I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of salt. I'm a little nervous to use too much because halloumi is quite salty. And then I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Just keep it real simple. Love busting out the powders. And then quite a bit of za'atar. So I love za'atar. It's one of my favorite spice mixes. You can get different types depending on where they come from. They all come from the kind of like general Middle East area, but like this is a Lebanese one. You can get Palestinian za'atar. You can get Syrian za'atar, I believe. So there's quite a few different mixes and they just have slightly different ingredients in them and different amounts of ingredients. So, and then, a fair bit of olive oil, of course. And I'll put all the measurements down below. I'm just gonna give it a really good toss. And you might be thinking that there's a whole lot of other stuff in here and not a lot of halloumi, and you'd definitely be right. But remember, it is cheese. It's like salty cheese. So you don't wanna have like a halloumi feast. Well, you do want to. But it's kind of nice to have a bunch of veggies, some halloumi, and it's gonna be a really hearty dinner at the end of the day. It's gonna be one of those things you can just fill a bowl with and just cozy up and go to town. I can see that everything's nice and coated. This is the kind of level of coating that you just can't get when you're tossing on a sheet pan, at least in my humble opinion. Okay, so that's that. I have a sheet pan here lined with parchment paper. I'm just gonna tumble this all out onto the sheet pan. If it all fits, I might have to split it into two. I think I might. Yep, I'll split it into two because I definitely want all the potatoes to be uh, exposed. I don't want anything stacked. So I think that if you had a one halloumi kind of one to two person tray bake, it would fit nicely onto one pan, but I made a little extra, so I'll just divvy this up. I've got my oven preheating at 425 and I'm just gonna fire these in and they should take about 25 to 30 minutes till the potatoes are nice and tender and everything else is good and brown and a little bit crispy hopefully. And we'll reconvene. It smells so good in here. Oh, so here we have the tray. <laughs> we've got nice tender little bits of peppers. We've got tender onions. We've got cooked through potatoes with a few crispy bits. And we have some halloumi with some really nice crispy bits. Halloumi when it bakes kind of like puffs up and almost like melts a little bit, but still holds its shape and then it gets crispy. It kind of reminds me of like roasted, chewy, salty marshmallows <laughs> in the best way possible. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm just gonna dish this up for myself. You know, screw everyone else. Ooh, check it out. See the underside? That is what I'm talking about. Crispy bits. Depending on the heat of your oven, you might want to uh, turn the oven onto broil for the last few minutes just to get some nice browning on the halloumi. 
Okay, I'm taking a lot. I should probably chill. <laughs> I have to share this with other people after all. The last thing I'm gonna do is just cut a few wedges of lemon. You could definitely roast these lemons if you want. I didn't really think of that till just now, but if you wanted, you could throw these lemons on the tray before the thing roasts, and then you'd have that nice roasty lemon juice. Either or. Throw that on there. And then lastly, for a bit of a saucy component, I'm gonna use some of my spinach walnut pesto. There's a recipe for this up on the blog. It was one of the first recipes I ever did. There's also a video for it. So that was in like the earliest, earliest days of how to make dinner. So that's fun. I love making spinach pesto because spinach is so much cheaper than basil and it's available year round. So I actually buy the bags of, of baby spinach. I know I just told you I didn't like pre-washed greens for salad, but I do like pre-washed spinach for pesto. It's just nice. So I'll just put a little smear of that on the side, make it look nice. And that's just an another little bit of flavor, something to dip my halloumi and my veggies in. That is it for my baked halloumi one sheet pan dinner. We're probably gonna have this with some Caesar salad and I think it's gonna be great. So I'm really excited to eat it and I look forward to seeing you again next week.